Hello friends, merhaba arkadaşlar. In this lesson we are going to learn here and there, which are burada, şurada, orada in Turkish. As you see on the English side there are two words and on the Turkish side there are three words. Let's see how. The plate is here. I'm talking about this plate. It's close to me, so I say the plate is here. How am I going to write it in Turkish? The plate, tabak, here, burada. The plate is here. Tabak, burada. How about this one? The plate is there. The plate is far from me, so I say the plate is there. I'm talking about that plate. So let's write it in Turkish. The plate, tabak, der, orada. The plate is der, tabak, orada. The plate is far from me, so I say der, and in Turkish it is orada. So here is burada, and der is orada. How about this plate? This plate is not so close to me, but also it's not so far from me. It's a bit far from me. The plate is there, still there, but not far, just a bit far. And I'm going to say it as the plate tabak der şurada. The plate is der tabak şurada. So if I'm talking about something or someone which is close to me, I use burada. If I'm talking about something or someone which is far from me, I use orada. And if I'm talking about something or someone which is not so far, at the same time not so close, then I'm going to use şurada. Burada, şurada, orada. All right, now let's take a look at this chart. At this point, if you don't know these suffixes which are written in red, stop this video, go to suffixes lesson, watch that lesson and come back here. Because here we are going to use these three sort of suffixes. The dative suffix a, which means to in English. And also because of two vowels, we need a buffer letter between them, ye. And here you can see da, which is the locative suffix. In English it is in, on or at. In Turkish it is da. And this dan is the ablative suffix. In English it is from. In Turkish it is dan. And from now on, the rest of the lesson, we are going to use these suffixes. The root is bura, actually. And if I'm trying to say here, this place, I will use burası. If I'm trying to say something like to here or to this place, I'm going to say buraya. You can see the dative suffix here with the buffer letters. To is a in Turkish. So to here, to this place is buraya. If I'm trying to say something in here or in this place, then I need to say burada. Da is the locative case, you know, from suffix lesson. Burada, in here. And if I'm trying to say something like from here, from this place, then I need to say buradan. Dan is the ablative case. From is done, so I need to say instead of from here or from this place, buradan. So there are four situations. Burası, buraya, burada, and buradan. Now let's see some examples to clarify. Here is a bank. Now I'm trying to say this place is a bank. Okay, here is a bank. This place is a bank. How am I going to say it? Here. Burası, this place, a bir bank, banka. Here is a bank. This place is a bank. Burası bir banka. Let's see the other one. The bank moved here. But I'm trying to say the bank moved to here. The bank moved to this place. How am I going to say it? The bank, banka, here. Bura, to here, bura a, but two vowels cannot be together according to Turkish grammar, so I need a buffer letter between them. 
buraya move taşın moved taşındı. The bank moved here. The bank moved to this place. Banka buraya taşındı. The next one. The bank is in here. Okay, I'm trying to say the bank is in this place. How am I going to say it? The bank, banka, here, bura, in here, burada. The bank is in here. The bank is in this place. Banka, burada. And the last one. The bank moved from here. It moved from here to somewhere else. The bank moved from this place to another place. How am I going to say it? The bank, banka, here, bura, from here, buradan, move, taşın, moved, taşındı. The bank moved from here. The bank moved from this place. Banka buradan taşındı. Alright, now let's take a look at this chart. As you see, there are four situations. If the thing or uh, the object or the person is close to me, I will use burası, buraya, burada, buradan. If that object or person is a bit far from me, then I'm going to use şurası, şuraya, şurada, şuradan. If that object or person is really far from me, then I'm going to use orası, oraya, orada, oradan. Let's see some examples. The first example. Here is a school. This place is a school. How am I going to say it? This place. Here is a school. Burası e bir school okul. Here is a school. This place is a school. Burası bir okul. Let's see another one. He will not live here. But I'm trying to say he will not live in here, in this place. How am I going to say it? The person pronoun he, o, here, bura, in here, or in this place, burada, the locative case, and live, yasha, not live, yashama, will not live, yashama, ajak, but two vowels cannot be together, so I need a buffer letter, yashamayacak. He will not live here. He will not live in this place. O burada yaşamayacak. Another example. He will not go there. But I'm trying to say he will not go to there, to that place. Let's write it. The person pronoun he, o, der, ora, to der, ora, a. Remember dative case. But two vowels cannot be together, so we need a buffer letter. Oraya. Go. Git. Not go. Gitme. Will not go. Gitme. Ecek. Again, two vowels, so we need a buffer letter between them. Gitme. Ecek. He will not go there. He will not go to that place. O. Oraya. Gitme. Ecek. And the last example. He will stay away from that. He will stay away from that place. How am I going to write? First, I'm going to write the person pronoun he, o, der, ora, from der, ora dan, the ablative case. Stay away, uzak dur, and will stay away, uzak duracak. He will stay away from there. He will stay away from that place, o oradan uzak duracak. Alright friends, if you have any questions, please write them in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe. Hope to see you in our following lessons for now. Goodbye. Hoşçakalın.